as humans, there's a little bit of control freak in each one of us. We tend to want things when we want things and, and expect to get them when we feel like we need them. I mean, it's, it's natural, it's human, obviously. We all do that. Sometimes though, it feels a little bit like my prayers go unanswered. I prayed for this to happen and it didn't happen, or how come, why, why didn't it happen? Well, let's quickly read uh, what it says in the book of Romans, chapter 5. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations, also knowing that tribulation worketh patience, and patience experience, and experience hope. And hope maketh not ashamed, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. We see here that tribulations are just going to happen. It's just a part of life. And they build us up. And, and we see this in other places in the Bible. In the book of James, it says, The trying of our faith works patience. Count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations. The Bible is clear. Bad things are going to happen to good people. Bad things are going to happen to Christians. In Romans 8, uh, 20, 28 and 29, it says that... Uh, my uh, Loose paraphrase here. It says that uh, basically all things are going to work together to help make Christians more like Jesus. Basically, that's that's a very loose paraphrase of Romans 8, 28, and 29. Bad things are just going to happen to us, and sometimes God doesn't want to necessarily deliver us from the bad thing, but he will still protect us and keep us. You're thinking, wait, isn't that, isn't that opposite? Let's ask Daniel, who actually still was in the lion's den before he was delivered. God didn't stop it before he got to the lion's den. He was in the lion's den. Let's ask Radshak, Meshach, and Abednego who not only were thrown into the furnace, they made the flame seven times hotter just, just to make sure the job was done. They went into the furnace and then came out. Then God delivered them without, without so much as smelling like smoke. Nothing was singed or burned. They didn't even smell like... So they weren't, they weren't delivered from going into the furnace, but they were delivered after that. Let's ask Paul and Silas, who were in prison. And then after that, the doors came open. The weirdest jailbreak in history, guys. No one escaped. So remember that. The trying of your faith works patience, right? Tribulations are going to happen to us, and we got to stay faithful, and we got to stay strong. And in the long run, it'll be better for us. We'll, we will grow. We will learn. Our faith will be stronger. And I think that's something uh, we Christians need to take to heart just a little bit. I mean, it's human to not like pain. Pain, whether physical or emotional, is never pleasant. I mean, who enjoys that? When suffering for the sake of the gospel or for the sake of of jesus you know it's it's you know the bible just says it's something we should rejoice in you know and that's that's kind of a hard thing for us to grasp you know i, I guess all of this is to just say god's timing is not our timing because if if it was one of us in charge you know radchak meshach and abednego would probably have never even made it to the furnace they would have been delivered way before that and then we wouldn't have we wouldn't have that extra part, that last part of the story where they suddenly realize, wait a second, there's a fourth person in the fire. Who's that fourth person? Y'all remember who the fourth man in the fire was, don't you? You know, we may never understand God's timing. You may get to a point in your life where you look back and, and maybe it'll make sense and maybe you'll say, oh, that's what was going on there. Thank you, Lord. Or maybe we just we just won't know this side of heaven. And, and then when we get to heaven, it really won't matter because we've made it to heaven. So uh, I just want you guys to, to be encouraged by that. You know, trials, tribulations, troubles, they're going to happen to us. It serves to strengthen us and make us more like, more like Christ, which is the, the end goal here. So anyway, that was my thought for this week. Click here if you'd like to subscribe to my channel and be uh, notified every time I come out with a new one. Click here. To see some of my other videos, there are going to be more on the way. I will see you next week. May the roads rise to meet you. May the wind be always with you. And may the Lord bless you and keep you until we meet again.